Here we are at ALA. My name is Jeff Weber, and I'm with Weston Grove, whose book, The Lost Art of Love, has a lot to offer for all of us. So, Weston, just briefly, what's the book about? It's a collection of prose passages pulled from my other books, and I wanted something that was very concise and accessible, so you can open to any page and start reading. You don't have to do it in chronological order. And my objective, because we live in a time where attention spans are very short, it was to be brief, and um, it's a stepping stone to get people to read my first book, Who Has Known Heights, which is a Bildungsroman. Wow, that's fantastic. So, tell me something. You know, I, I go to somebody's house for dinner and I see a bunch of books on the table. Yours is one of them. Why should I pick up your book? Honestly, if you are someone, and I think this applies to most people, you're looking to reevaluate your life and really put things in perspective, what matters at the, at the end of the day, then I, that would be a reason to pick up this book. It's to make you think and um, really just prioritize. So is this why you wrote the book in the first place? Um, I, like I said, I wanted it to be highly accessible and I wanted to wake people up. Is this based on something that happened in your life that was a cathartic experience? Yes, and num numerous experiences, not just one. Ah, so this is a whole lifetime of learning. Yes, condensed and into the lost daughter of love. I think that's fantastic. So is, is helping people, is that the motivating factor? It is on some level, yes, because it's highly profound and it speaks to the human condition. And like I said, it's very short and things you can carry with you. I love the fact that you can open a book and, and start reading it and then you don't, you don't anywhere you, you go, you can enjoy right. it. Exactly. Um, e-books have been a topic of discussion for a long time. What, is, what do you think about e-books? Honestly, I'm not, I'm not a Luddite. However, I am not an advocate for e-books because something is lost. That connection is lost. You need a tangible book. You wonder, you know, what hands have they been passed through? And the thing with ebooks, someone hits a button, the grid shuts down, all that electronic data is lost. That's why you need hard copies, backups. Isn't there something to be said for a tactile experience? Yes, uh, exactly. If, if you're a little bit older, like myself, who's 800, you appreciate holding a book in your hands. I don't know, but I can't read a book on a Kindle or anything. It just doesn't feel the same. No, I'm, I'm the same way. And studies have even shown the way you process it on a screen is different. I like to make notes in the margins or just underline something. And the great thing about a book is, let's say you were stranded on an island. That book can get wet. <laughs> if you have an e-book on a Kindle or a tablet, you're out of luck. You're out of luck. Yes. And, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I absolutely agree with you 150 million percent. I, I just love the feel of a book. Yes. And, and I love turning the pages. I, I love seeing the progress. Oh, I'm getting to the end. And right. If I'm like you, if I know I'm getting to the end, I'll sit down and try to get through it because I'm curious as to what's going to happen. Exactly. With an e-book, you don't know where you are. No, you don't. <laughs> you really don't. No. Know. And I, I love some books, even if they're antiquated, the scent of a book. Unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, you know you're in a library. It, it takes on energy. I agree e with Ebooks e do not. Nope. It's a, it's a barrier. No. Uh, tell me, even though we, we discussed the value before, uh, how, why do you value books and libraries especially? Yes, um, because they preserve a place in time. It's a record. I'm an archivist. And that's like, to me, libraries kind of are like the holy grail. You really can get lost in the forest of books, can't you? Yes. I love libraries that place benches in random places where right. you can actually sit down, it's quiet, and you can just explore. Yes. I, I, just, I, I love that. There's something private about that. and. Y and you never know what you're going to come upon. Is there a quotation from your book that you'd like to leave us with? Um, yes, I, it goes along the lines of 
um, the body is a museum for memories. I am the Smithsonian. <laughs> That's my one of my well-known ones. And one of the reasons I write, it's I've traveled down the centuries, and I mean that literally. In a past life, I was a scribe, and I'm here because to convey something. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Where can we find your book? On Amazon, online. They yeah. they are both there. Perfect. Yep. Wow. Weston, thank you so much for your time. Thank I, you. I learned something. Good. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you.